Well, uh, you know, you heard you heard ribs, so I, I automatically did. assume that you'd be mm-hmm. in, you'd be into some ribs. Oh yeah. We're with Emma Frisch. She's hey, Emma. the hey, guys. she is on the Food Network star on the Food Network, the next Food Network star, and you made it to the second episode. Yes. We're so excited yes. for Congratulations. you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But the good news is the next episode is something that is really interesting. Why don't you tell us about it? What people can expect? On well, Sunday? it's all about teaching viewers how to make food at home. So we're kind of do- <laughs> going to do a little play on that here today. And there's a twist in the episode, but you'll have to tune in on Sunday night at 9 p.m. Mm. to of watch course, it. Of course, of course, of course. Do I so, need to take notes? Well, this recipe is on my blog. Okay. So it's Perfect. roux barbecue sauce. And you heard the man. It's going to be beautiful weather this weekend, right? <laughs> yeah, so, beautiful. Great for the barbecues. Get your grills out. Right. Exactly. So I'm going to introduce this beautiful vegetable to you called rhubarb. You guys should each try love, it. I love rhubarb. Tell me what you think. Oh, it's great stuff. It's got mm. like this tangy, oh, yeah. sour kind mm-hmm. of chalky texture. So people often nice. cook rhubarb down into a sauce to make jam or pies and they add sugar and sweeten it up. Or you can just dip that in yeah. a little cup of sugar. Did you do that as kids? Mama's rhubarb pie. It was great. Yeah. It's super, super soury. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So I'm I sure it'll to make do, a great sauce. It does. I wanted to do something savory. So this is a really easy sauce anyone can make at home in one pot in under 15 minutes. You need onions and garlic, olive oil, and some tomato sauce. Look for a jar or a can or a box. It just says tomatoes in the ingredient. Put it in the pot. Add your rhubarb. So this will break down in like five to seven minutes Mm. into this stringy, soft Mm. texture. Nice. And then you add some spices, mustard seed, maple syrup, a few other secret ones. I like smoked paprika. paprika. And you end up with this. Are you guys ready for a little kick this morning? Yeah, I'm ready. Just, just dip, dip it in. Dip it in. <laughs> dip in your finger. I just go like this. All right. Well, we'll do no, the. We're gonna do it. <laughs> so the great thing about the sauce is that it just That's sticks fantastic. onto the ribs. Mm. You like it? I really. Is. What do you think? That is fantastic. Top notch. Yes. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. So easy. Oh, so, that's the first part here. <laughs> Stop by the piggery let's in the, Ithaca. Let's get the best part here. All right. That, so this is, you said you're on a paleo diet, I am right? on a paleo diet. I'm not. Can you tell us what that is? <laughs> I can eat it. Because I'm on paleo, I can eat it. Well, can you eat it raw? No, I'm not. I could eat it raw. Really paleo? <laughs> That's super paleo. So this is a country rib. And actually, if it's kind of like this part of your shoulder, it's more meaty than a traditional mm. rib. Well, not your shoulder. But I was going to say. Yeah, these are from the piggery. Just walk in and the guys behind the counter and the girls will just give you any information you need on what the best cut is for what you're trying to make. Okay. So you just soak this in the sauce and then put it on a grill. You can put it in the oven as well. And you end up with this beautiful country rib. I've been touching this, which is raw. So why don't you guys each pick up a piece and just go for it. Oh, man. Get in there. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Kelly, I'll save you some. Don't worry. I know you're sitting over there watering. (laughs) Mm. Okay. Yeah, Probably to how, <laughs> seriously, with the with the sauce and the fact that the country rib is like really, it's really good, really thick. Mm-hmm. It's I don't know. A lot of meat on there. He's still holding his rhubarb. He has a rhubarb, man. Well, it's good for you. This is the, this is a spring fruit. It's the first vegetable to come up, and it's got because it goes so well with sugar. It kind of holds you over until the strawberries kick off and fruit really comes in season. And I'm doing this five ways, five days campaign on my blog. So this week you'll have five ways to make rhubarb. Perfect. So this right. is one of them. Yeah. Now now that I clean off my face here. Yeah. <laughs> What's the blog? EmmaFrish.com. Okay. Everybody, you heard it here. See her Sunday. She's going to be on the Food She's Network awesome. again. She's awesome. Round two, I'll tell you. She doesn't make it to the end. I, I don't know what these judges are thinking. I'll stay be tuned. <laughs> stay tuned after the break. We'll have everything you need to know before you start your day. Plus, you're winning lottery numbers right now.